Talking about the design of our brand new Lamborghini Temerario, first of all, it is opening the page into our future, the design language I call essential and iconic. It is following our Lamborghini design DNA with the silhouette and also with the strong inclinated side windows. The feature that is very important for me is the hexagon because with this element the car becomes really recognizable from far away and the hexagon is the theme that we are using around the car. You can study this in the wheels but you can see it also here in the body side with the air intake. Large surfaces and shapes we have also on the rear, large shoulders. We wanted to have the engine, the new powertrain as the very heart of our car and the rear is finishing in a very strong way using the hexagonal taillight and hexagonal exhaust pipe and a very technical part in the lower side of the car using a very sporty diffuser that is for me taking inspiration on the world of motorcycles and MotoGP. So that's in short the design of the new Lamborghini Temerario. So let's have a look at the design of the rear of our brand new Lamborghini Temerario. Also here we can see the essential and uh, iconic design philosophy. We are using large surfaces, really exposed uh, rear shoulders, really emphasizing the width of the car and the stance of the car. Then the hexagon, as in the front, the DRL, the taillight is showing this beautiful design theme that is perfectly fitting with our design DNA. The engine is always the starting point for the design and proportions of our cars. And here we have a direct link to the hexagonal exhaust pipe. In the lower part, we are combining technical elements from the motorsport world with the diffuser and air outlets. But I always like to uh, introduce one inspiration. I'm always taking inspiration from the motorcycle world, as you can see here with our fantastic exposed rear tires really showing off compact proportions because that was the main goal on the Lamborghini Temerario to achieve the perfect proportions and agility and, and compactness that the sports car world has not seen yet. Feel like a pilot and the pilot interaction philosophy means we have iconic elements. First of all, in the steering wheel we have always our driving mode uh, activator, the anima button. Then you have always airplane switches to open the and close the windows, but then also here in the center console. The new graphic design is always showing the ref counter in the six o'clock position. The driver, or the pilot is always finding the gears and the speed in the same position in every driving mode. Last but not least, we have the hexagonal buttons that you see everywhere. So the design language is very consistent. And the last iconic button I think is the one that every child and every pilot wants to push once in his lifetime is our start and stop button, also with the hexagonal shape. Very typical, very iconic Lamborghini. It's really a pleasure to present you the new Temerario that features an entirely new drivetrain. The heart of this drivetrain is for sure our completely new V8 twin turbo hybrid engine that is developed in Sadagata and also produced in Sadagata, especially and exclusively for this car. On top of this engine, this combustion engine that has 800 CV maximum power output, we have also three electric motors. One between the engine and the gearbox and two electric motors on the front axle that enable a four-wheel drive system and also features torque vectoring functionalities to agilize and also to stabilize the car. It's a super exciting driving experience. Overall, we have a combined power output of 920 CV. And one thing is very special. We have a maximum rev limit of 10,000 RPM. That is really something unique in the automotive production cars, especially for a twin turbo engine. But let's take a closer look at the brand new V8 twin turbo of the Temerario. For sure, one highlight is the rev limit of 10,000 RPM maximum speed that has never been seen in a serious production engine like this. How we make this possible? First of all, let's start with the architecture of the engine. The engine is a hot V configuration, a V8 hot V configuration, 4 liter. We have a flat crankshaft. This flat crankshaft is enabling us First of all, the ref region, but also the high specific power and also give the engine a clear 
race engine character. That was our purpose. To enable the 10,000 ref limit, we have to consider two things. First of all, to reduce the rotating and oscillating masses. For instance, we have titanium cone rods in the engine. On top, we have a very stiff valve train. We have decided to go on a finger follower concept that is very, very stiff and allows us to approach this maximum ref limit. To achieve the 10,000 ref limit, basically we have to consider two things. First of all, we have to reduce the rotational and oscillating masses. To give you an example, the engine is equipped with titanium cone rods. For the valve frame side, the second point, we have decided to go with a very, very stiff finger follower concept with very short chains for the actuation of the valve train. Let's take a closer look at the specifica of this brand new V8 twin turbo engine of the Temerario. The engine is basically in hot V configuration. So it's an eight cylinder with the turbochargers inside the V. Why we are doing this? Mainly for three reasons. First of all, it's a very compact package. Secondly, you have very short ways from the exhaust manifold to the turbochargers. And third, you have an optimal condition to heating up the catalysts. The brand new Temerario features an entirely new drivetrain. The architecture of the drivetrain is consisting of two electric motors, two axial flux motors on the front axle. The battery of the car is positioned in the tunnel, enabling us a very low center of gravity. And on the back, you have the brand new V8 twin turbo hybrid engine. Hybrid because it's combined the V8 combustion engine also with an electric motor and axial flux machine. And on the rear, we have an eight speed double clutch transversal gearbox. Another feature of our brand new V8 twin turbo of the Temerario is that we have combined this together with a P1 electric motor on the crankshaft. And this is a very specific type of electric motor because it's an axial flux machine. Why we have decided to go in this direction? Because this type of electric motor has a high torque density. And we use this mainly for two reasons. First of all, concentrating on the low ref region, we have instantaneous torque. Secondly, we use this electric motor to go from the reactiveness, if you go on throttle and off throttle, to a best in class twin turbo engine. The high mid ref or the high ref region is covered by the two quite big turbochargers that are ensuring that even at high refs, you have still enough boost and you perceive enough acceleration. And this gives you, at the end of the day, an incredible driving experience with the linear behavior at low refs, with the super reactive response of the engine and with a kind of exploding power behavior if you're revving it up, up to 10,000 RPM. On top of all these incredible numbers and technical solution, one thing is very important always in Lamborghini. We are one team and I'm super proud that our team made this engine possible in Sadarkada. The engine is exclusively from our team developed and produced in Sadarkada. There's even one detail that I want to show it to you. Let's take a look. One cool feature I want to show you, even if it's not related to the extreme performance of this brand new VA twin turbo, but it's very important for the heart. It's the writing of Lamborghini at the cover of the cylinder head. And this is a little bit of memory of our iconic engines of the past. This is the brand new V8 twin turbo of Lamborghini. And it's a hot V configuration. So as you can see, the two turbochargers are positioned within the V. On top, it has a flat crankshaft. This flat crankshaft is enabling this really racing character of the engine. Here you see also the valve train. On the valve train, we have put it a very stiff finger follower concept that allows us really to achieve the 10,000 RPM ref limit. Here you see as an integral component of this new power unit is the electric motor that is coupled to the crankshaft to enable the best reactiveness of a turbo engine. 
And this is not only a standard electric motor, it's also a so-called axial flux machine that is characterized by high torque density. Here you see the turbochargers that are positioned in the V. The turbochargers are quite big, focusing more on the high and the high mid-ref region to have enough boost also at high revs. You see here also that everything is very compact. You see the cylinder head, you see the cover, including the Lamborghini writing. You see here the electric motor is an axial flux machine directly coupled to the crankshaft. It's a flat crankshaft. Here you see also that the cylinder head is based on two pieces. We have an upper part that is important for the stiffness of the camshafts. And here you have the lower part where you have at the end of the day the valves positioned in. Here you see the turbochargers. The turbochargers positioned in the V with three main advantages. First of all, the engine is very compact. Secondly, the way from the exhaust manifold to the turbine is very short. Secondly, you see here also the whole catalysts and also particle filters are very close. So the heating up procedure, the warming up procedure is really optimal and very, very fast. On top, you see here really the latest technology also in aluminum casting with a very specific alloy. Another very interesting thing is if you, if you go on this side, that we have a valve train that is consisting of a very short chain to enabling also this high ref region of 10,000 RPM. Also the high pressure pump for the fuel injection is decoupled based on the fact to achieve as best as possible the 10,000 RPM. So there are a lot of small technical solutions that you can see that are enabling this level of power and especially also this level of emotions. On top of the powertrain, the Temerario features also an all new aluminum space frame. The car is, has more roominess. The aluminum space frame features the latest production technologies, including very sophisticated casting technologies and very important for the driving dynamics, the whole aluminum space frame is stiffer and also relatively lighter. For sure, we worked in the new Temerario also intensively on the aerodynamics. We improved the rear downforce of the car compared to the Huracan Evo by 103%. Another very important topic regarding aerodynamics is for sure the cooling. Also here, we improved the cooling performance by 30%. If we speak about super sports car, for sure also the brake performance and in this context especially the temperature consistency is very important. Therefore we worked intensively with smart aerodynamic solutions also to reduce the temperature of the brake calipers and the brake discs. To give you one example, we improved the cooling by 50% regarding to the discs and by 20% regarding to the brake calipers. The brand new Temerario is equipped with state-of-the-art super sports car suspension. Means a double wishbone on the front as well as on the rear. Equipped also with a very performance-oriented brake system. We have 10 piston calipers on the front and 4 piston calipers on the rear. Lamborghini is not only about performance numbers. So the new V8 twin turbo engine is also designed to generate the highest level of emotions. Therefore also the 10,000 ref limit was very important for us. And also how the sound is during, if you achieve, let me say, the climbing up the ref limit up to 10,000. And this is, we work especially on the crescendo of this engine that also you have an increasing sound emotions if you're refing up the engine. And also you feel some Vibration still, because for sure, based on the flat crankshaft, you feel this roughness of the engine. This is exactly what we wanted to have to build a real sport engine. But Lamborghini is not only about these incredible numbers. We are also all about emotions. Also, for this reason, the 10,000 ref limit was fundamental for us. Because we wanted to design an engine that has never been seen before offering also an emotional and sound statement. Therefore, you can really perceive if you rev up the engine 
a dramatic crescendo that has never been seen before in a turbo engine. 